Inductive reactance. Let us consider an inductor L is connected to an AC source of voltage V is equal to V0 sin omega t. In order to explain the inductive reactance, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this information to draw a figure for an AC circuit. And if I do that, I will get a figure like this, where this is my inductor L and the inductor is connected to an AC source of voltage V is equal to V0 sin omega t. Then the inductive reactance of the circuit is given as XL is equal to omega L where L is the inductor, omega is the angular frequency and XL is the inductive reactance of the circuit. We know that omega is equal to 2 pi f where f is the frequency and omega is the angular frequency. Now let's substitute the value of omega in this equation and if we do that we will get XL is equal to 2 pi f L where XL is known as the inductive reactance of the circuit the SI unit of inductive reactance is ohm. The voltage across the inductive reactance of the circuit is given as V RMS is equal to I RMS times XL where V RMS is the root mean square value of the voltage. I RMS is the root mean square value of the electric current and XL is the inductive reactance. Then the AC voltage of the source is given as V is equal to V0 sin omega t and the electric current I is given as I0 sin omega t minus pi over 2. As you can see voltage is ahead of the electric current by a phase angle of pi over 2. So we can say that voltage leads the electric current or in other words we can also say that electric current lacks the voltage by an angle of pi over 2. Now let's represent the relationship between voltage and electric current graphically and if we do that we will get a graph like this where this is my voltage, this curve is my voltage and this curve is my electric current and as you can see the voltage is pi over angle ahead of the electric current. There is another way we can establish the relationship between voltage and electric current graphically and if we do that we will get a figure like this where voltage is along the x-axis and electric current is along the negative y-axis and as you can see voltage is leading by an angle of pi over 2 or in other words we can also say that electric current is lagging behind by an angle of pi over 2 from the voltage. And this is how we will define the inductive reactance.